when I did my check, my check in. <laughs> you can ignore this thing. Um, so I know that you don't gain two pounds of fat overnight and stuff like that. You don't even gain that week, but it's a little frustrating because I've been working very hard on um, being very disciplined and things like that. So I guess I didn't really expect it. Um, and it's temporary and I'm sure it'll it'll adjust and I tend to be a little bit higher coming off of weekends just because I am um, off my routine and even if I stick to the same macros over the weekend that I normally would just being out of my routine seems to change things up for me a little bit so I'm hoping that course cracks it's a little frustrating um, but I know it's just part of the process and it will go up and down but it's all about the trend um, but yeah, that kind of stinks. Um, on the plus side though, I can say like I'm still doing, this is like the third time I'm doing the strength workouts <clears throat> since this is week three. Um, and I can say at least today, and maybe it's because I was fresh from having two full rest days and not doing CrossFit yesterday. Um, I felt like the weights moved a little bit easier. So like each of the exercises, I was able to add more weight than I did in week two, which was more than I did in week one. Now I kind of don't look at week one as like being extremely accurate because I was just sort of figuring out what the right weight was for the rep scheme. Um, so I've been able to add, and the, the program says eight to 12 reps for most of the um, exercises and I'm able to max out to the 12 so I need to keep adding weight until I'm really not able to hit that 12 and I'm falling somewhere a little bit less so I know I still have a ways to go with that but I'm just feeling it out um, making sure I don't get injured or anything like that um, I did come into this with a little bit of plantar fasciitis that I babied a little I thought it was getting better and then today I woke up and that heel pain was there so Pretty sure that doing the calves yesterday kind of set it off. I probably should have stretched them a little bit more, but I'm hoping it. Uh, I did my recovery boots today and some extra stretching, and I'm gonna use a massage gun on my on my foot. So hopefully that will improve again, because um, I don't really want to be dealing with that long term. But um, yeah, I think it's encouraging to see to be able to lift a little bit heavier each time. Um, I can definitely tell that on days where I've done the strength workout following my CrossFit, like immediately after, I definitely can't quite do as much weight, especially like um, with the barbell bicep curls and stuff like that. Like I have a hard time, um, which is good. Working them out when they're taxed a little bit, it just kind of changes it up. So, so I have to keep that in mind, but feeling good about that. Um, I have had a, quite a few people ask me like when I'm going to compete and like when my show date is and I don't have one. Um, they go into this intending to go on stage. I just said I would keep my mind open. Um, but I've had so many people say like, well, if you're going to put in all that work, like you're going to want to show it off. So I don't know. I'm keeping my mind open, but 
I'd like to go to a show at least and just like see what they're what they're like, what they're about, um, how they operate, stuff like that. Um, the vibe, I guess. So, um, yeah, it is also day one of summer vacation for my children. I'm already having to run them around all over for activities um, while I'm at work. So it's been, thank God I live close to work and their activities are super close. Um, but yeah, that's, and it's day one and they're already fighting. So it's gonna go really well this summer. Um, the only thing I'm getting a little concerned about is I haven't heard, it's Tuesday, I haven't heard from my coach yet in terms of um, a plan for the week. And last week she sort of checked in on Monday and was like, hey, I'm gonna leave everything the same. But at least like I know she had her eyes on it. Um, and I know that I said in my other video that like I sent her a message about my whoopsie with my carbs the other day and like, um, that I wasn't able to drop into a CrossFit on Monday and you know, if I should adjust, I haven't heard back from her. I know she's traveling, but I'm like getting anxiety. Like you act, you look forward to the check-ins just to like know that you're on track and you kind of like want to know, like you want to go on to the next step, the next phase. And I feel like right now what I'm doing is just so similar to what I've done before when I've been in cuts that it doesn't really feel like I'm doing anything special. And I know that at some point it will and probably not in the best way, but um, I don't know, I don't really feel like anything's changing, but I know that that's pretty normal. And so I try to talk myself out of getting in my head about it because I know that that's how a lot of my clients feel. Um, and I just need to stay consistent, but I'm just like, okay, what's next? Go on to the next thing. And I actually kind of miss my cardio. I haven't been on my Peloton in a while and I truly enjoy it. It's very entertaining, especially Cody. Um, and I do like a good Kendall metal ride. Those like rough and tough ones. So um, I know there would be plenty of time for her to add that in, but I don't know, it just kind of seems weird. Like I feel like I should be doing more. Um, but more is not always better. So I have to just keep remembering myself. Like this is so mental. Um, and it's only going to get more mental with it. So yeah. Um, it's 8.30 on a Tuesday and I'm ready to go to bed. So, um, I will update you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I hear from my coach by then.